year 2015, the Zaya River, Amur region. This is how the very first rocket launch at the Russian National Cosmodrome Vostochny might happen. Today, Russia is building one of the most promising projects of our time, the Cosmodrome in Amur region. The grand construction is about to become the pioneer train of the Far East's development. The Vostochny Cosmodrome aims to reaffirm Russia's high status and leading positions in this area. It will guarantee independent access to outer space for all kinds of spaceships and vehicles, including manned spacecraft, and also for long-term space missions to the Moon and Mars. Russia is ready for the project of the century, since we already experienced an exercise task of building a launching site for the Soyuz spacecraft at the Kourou Cosmodrome in French Guyana. Roscosmos experts were really quick to build a mobile service tower and adjust the verticalization technology on the Soyuz without the nose part. They managed to do that in the jungle in 100% humidity and 35 degrees above zero conditions. Far Eastern climate is the way more friendly than the one in the Guyana jungle, on the contrary to the task stated this time. The built-up area meant for all Earth-based infrastructure is about 100 square kilometers. The list includes a space launch complex with two launching pads for medium-class rockets, able to carry heavier cargo, an oxygen-nitrogen plant, train station, and an airport along with business centers, an academic campus, and training bases for the cosmonauts and space tourists. There will also be a city near the spaceport for 30,000 people. It will truly become a science city, just like those described by novelists in their science fiction art. And this is what our Russian space harbor for man's flights to other planets will be like. You just won't be able to escape the dreams of exploring the depths of the cosmos. We'll need to tackle socially oriented issues when and maybe even before we get to the technological infrastructure development. We're supposed to build a city suitable in all possible ways for the people who'll be living and working here. The Vostochny is a next-generation cosmodrome that is smaller in size and richer with equipment compared to Baikonur. The agenda is to give the ecologically safe Soyuz rocket 2.1A its first unmanned flight in 2015, and the year 2016 is supposed to see manned flights start happening. This will be the Cosmodrome of tomorrow that will help us work on the most prospective things like rockets or spacecraft, those we weren't able to work with at Baikonur. The Cosmodrome will also be harboring reusable spacecraft. The Vostochny is being designed so that its landing runway will be able to receive space shuttles. Nowadays, it's the very place where all the future bases of Russia's space programs for the next 50 years are being set.